Hi everyone, it's Too Late Reviews here with a special episode of a quick review. I got my brother here, we got a couple beers in our hands, we just got back from seeing the Batman. Now, I'm gonna let my brother say his thoughts on what he thought of the movie first. So, Ryan, what were your thoughts? I enjoyed it, a uh, little long in my opinion, uh, a little overhyped. I do like how it's more of a detective story this time around. Yes, that is an element that I was a little worried about because we've had past, pre yeah, yeah, previous Batman stories where, like the Nolan, the sorry, the uh, Christian Bale was like the world's greatest uh, soldier. Uh, Affleck, Batfleck, Bat, yeah, Batfleck <laughs> was uh, the world's greatest murderer, <laughs> which is why I like, I love him. Also, restore the Snyderverse. <laughs> yes, well. Like I told you when we were on our way back, we can have two parallel coexisting Batman Exactly. Stories. I would be okay with that. Same here. Batman's Batman. I mean, I'm, I I think it's safe to say, without going into spoilers, there is going to be another one after oh, this. Oh, of course. So, especially with that ending, it's like, okay, you're teasing that person. I'm, we're not going to say who it is. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, there's... this is spoilers, so we can say it. Oh we, oh, we can say it? Yeah, spoilers. We're, oh, just, we're doing spoilers? I do okay. spoilers in, in quick reviews. Okay, so yeah, uh, Joker. Yeah, it's it's Joker. Um, the thing is, though, is that when I was watching it and that part came up, I wasn't just like, okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but did it not sound like it was the Jeremiah Valesque Joker from Gotham a little bit? <clears throat> uh, not really, but honestly, you know who it kind of sounded like to me? Who? Terry McGinnis from Batman Beyond. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But uh, my thoughts on the movie, I, I agree with you. There were some parts where it did kind of a little drag on a little bit. But you know what? It's a slow burn. It's a detective movie. That's what it's supposed to do. You're supposed to, you know, kind of figure it out with Batman as it goes along. Well, Alfred and... did most of the figuring out the first half of the movie. Yes. After that, Batman kind of had to put his big boy pants on and do it himself. But you're also going to take in the fact that this is also like Batman beginning. So it kind of makes sense that he would have help with Alfred at first. And then when Alfred gets injured by an explosion that's meant for Bruce, then he has to do it himself. I do like that one scene when uh, he was talking to Riddler in the prison cell. And you don't know if Riddler knows if he's Bruce yes. Wayne or not. Yes. I'm, like, I'm I'm like, I'm like, does he know he's Bruce Wayne? Like, does he not does know he's Bruce Wayne? Does he know? Does he not know? What did you do? <laughs> but, uh. No, this this movie. If uh, if you guys want to go see it, go see it. It's really really good. It's good. good. It's it's very good. You just kind of have to temper your expectations about exactly about what you're going to see. I feel they could have done more with an R rating. Mm. That would have been well. There was one or two F bombs they dropped in there. Uh, just one. Oh, it, oh yeah, there was. And they one. wasted it at the very beginning. At the very beginning. Um, I did. with the guy who dies fucking five minutes later. Exactly. Like, really? Really? You're gonna waste it on this? I wanna hear Batman say fuck. And we've already heard Batman say fuck in the Snyder Cut. Yeah. But I wanna see him, I wanna hear him say it again. Yeah. But. There's a whole lot of fucking going around in here. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the thing, like, I, I did enjoy this movie a lot. Um, actually, did you kinda get a little, a little, uh, scared at the beginning? Like, you got a little nervous when, like, the guy's sitting in front of the TV and then, like, it, he walks away and then Riddler's right behind him and you're kind of like sitting there like, oh shit. Oh, Riddler's there the whole time. Oh, I know, but like when, like you knew he was there, but you kind of had like that suspense where it's just oh, like, yeah, I it's don't like, like... It's like, when's he going to stick his pee, -pee in him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so happy you decided to bring me on? Yes, I am. Yeah, I am. <laughs> um... Stick my pee, -pee in <laughs> Uh... But no, this movie, uh, Ryan, what would you rate it? I'd give it a solid 7.5. I am going to give it an 8. I I will admit the expectations were set very high when I watched it. like Or not expectations were set, but like it was very hyped up, is what I meant to say. Mm -hmm. And I... My expectations were adhered to, and I was, and, and I liked it. And uh, I feel in a sequel they could go bigger. Like, uh, if you bring in the Joker, try and figure out, like, what his next move is going to be. Or, you know, like, have Riddler and Joker, two villains we've never seen work together before, work together. That would be cool. Well, actually, they did work together in the Adam West film. 
Okay, true. But I'm talking about like in a more serious kind of thing. Mm. Fair enough. But uh, anyways, uh, guys, I'm two of your reviews and my brother Ryan. Um, let me know if you want to see another review with him. Uh, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. Um, anyways, I'm two late reviews, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Cheers, right? Cheers.